You know, have you ever wondered what the gas pressure is inside a bottle of soda pop? Well, if you take just a few measurements and use the ideal gas law, you can figure it out for yourself. The measurements you need include the volume of gas in the headspace of the bottle, the mass of carbon dioxide gas in the headspace of the bottle, and the temperature. That's it. Finding the temperature is easy enough. Using this non-contact thermometer, I see the temperature of this bottle is 23.2 degrees Celsius. Next, I'll find the mass of carbon dioxide in the headspace. I'll first place this bottle on the balance and zero it out. Now I'll open the bottle and close it really fast. I want to open the bottle only long enough so that the gas in the headspace escapes. Okay, here goes. Did you hear that hiss? That was the gas escaping. Okay, now let's find out what the mass of the bottle is. Well, it looks like 0.21 grams of carbon dioxide escaped. Finally, we need to find the volume of the headspace. To do this, we'll use the fact that one gram of water takes up one milliliter of volume. Because of this fact, we can find the volume of the headspace by finding the mass of water in grams required to fill the headspace. Okay, because it took 32.36 grams of water, the headspace volume is 32.36 milliliters. Okay, now we've got all the information we need, so let's do some calculations. Okay, let's use our data and the ideal gas law to find the pressure that was in the soda pop. So the ideal gas law is PV equals NRT, where P is going to be the pressure in the headspace, V is the volume of the headspace, N is the moles of carbon dioxide gas in the headspace, R is going to be the gas constant, and T is going to be Kelvin temperature. And our gas constant, that's going to be 0.0821 liter atmosphere times inverse mole times inverse Kelvin. We want to find the pressure, so let's go ahead and just divide both sides of this by volume. And we'll convert our ideal gas law into pressure is the moles of gas times the gas constant times temperature divided by the volume. So we're going to get the moles of gas from the 0 0.21 grams of CO2 that we measured that was released from the, from the bottle. We know that there's 44 grams of carbon dioxide in one mole of carbon dioxide. So let's see. 0.21, divide that by 44. That's 0 0.0047, well, uh, two sig figs, but I'm going to write down three just so I don't have a rounding error. 0.00477 moles of gas released from the headspace. So we've taken care of N. We know what R is. T needs to be in kelvins and we measured it as 23.2 degrees celsius we're going to need to add 273 to that so we can have our units consistent so 23.2 plus 273 that's 296.2 kelvin and then finally our volume that was 32.36 milliliters and if we convert that to liters so we can keep our units consistent that's going to be 0 0.03236 liters. Let's see, I think I got everything that I need here. So let's start plugging things in. N, that's going to be 0 0.00477 moles. Multiply that by the gas constant, 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere, inverse mole, inverse Kelvin. That's our R. Our temperature, 296.2 Kelvin. And we're going to divide all that by the volume, which is 0 0.03236 liter. Wow, okay, what's my unit going to be of pressure? Let's make sure I've got this right. Well, this mole cancels this inverse mole. A mole times an inverse mole is 1, so those cancel. Uh, let's see what else we got. An inverse Kelvin times a Kelvin, that's one, so they cancel. And a liter divided by a liter, that's one, so those cancel. And my unit that I'm left with is an atmosphere. That makes me happy because I'm looking for pressure. So my pressure that I'm going to calculate based on all these numbers is going to be in units of atmospheres. So now I just got to do the multiplication and division. All right. 0 0.00. 
0.0477 times 0.0821 times 296.2. Divide that by 0.03236. And this is limited by this number here, which is only two significant figures. So this can be 3.6 atmospheres. So we found the pressure inside that bottle of soda pop to be 3.6 atmospheres. Hey, let's see what the pressure is inside a 2 liter bottle of soda. First, let's find the temperature. Looks like it's about 23.4 degrees Celsius. Now we'll place the soda on the balance and zero it out. Okay, let's let the gas out. Looks like 1.08 grams of carbon dioxide escaped. Finally, we'll measure the headspace volume. Looks like it's about 155 milliliters. All right, we've got all the data. Now it's your job to find the pressure inside the 2-liter soda bottle using the ideal gas law. Leave your answer in the comments when you figure it out. Also, be sure to tell me if you try this experiment on your own. What pressures do you find inside bottles of soda when you use this method? Is it pretty close to what I found here or quite different? I look forward to hearing from you. Happy experimenting!